Hi, I'm Mick Shaw with 475. We'll be looking at a section drawing of this applied rafter table approach, this wall to roof transition, keeping a continuous exterior air barrier that is vapor permeable and watertight, while also keeping a complete and continuous interior air barrier that is airtight and vapor variable. Let's dive in. We have a section drawing of a two by wood framed wall meeting a roof. This side being the interior and this side being the exterior. We have our stud wall framing with our top plate. You might have a double top plate. And our rafters are resting on this top plate, but the tails of those rafters do not continue through. They stop in line with the sheathing. So we have our sheathing, whether that's a plywood or OSB, on the exterior side of that wood framing. This is sometimes called monopoly framing, but it's where the sheathing stays in line from the wall to the pitched roof. We can then waterproof on the exterior with something that's airtight, watertight, and vapor open. This would be the Solitex Adhero 1000 or 3000 on the walls, or Adhero 3000 for the pitched roof, or Mento 1000 for the walls, and then Mento 3000 for the pitched roof. These membranes are all airtight, watertight, and vapor permeable, vapor open. We can then insulate on the exterior with some type of fibrous board insulation something that is vapor permeable, a wood fiber board or a mineral wool board, and we're creating a drainage plane that is vented outboard of that. This is typically done with one by wood furring strips running vertically. We're doing a similar thing for our pitched roof. We're allowing venting and draining in this location. So this is creating a rain screen for the wall or above sheathing venting for the pitched roof, or below sheathing if you're applying an additional layer of sheathing above that to hold your asphalt shingle finish, or if you're using a metal finish material, you might not need that additional layer of sheathing. But we're creating some type of applied rafter tail system. We still wanna shed that water outboard of the assembly with our roof finish, but we don't want those rafter tails to continue through because that could be a thermal bridge concern that also interrupts this connection. So we're using some type of applied rafter tail and we're allowing venting below this finished roof material, above the roofing underlayment, above that exterior insulation. And we can kind of tie into that same drainage plane for our rain screen on the wall. So on the interior side, we can insulate with some type of bat or blown in, something vapor permeable, maybe a mineral wool bat or a dense pack cellulose that's between the stud cavities. And then inboard of that, we have our interior air barrier that is vapor variable, the Intello Plus or the Intello X membrane. This is keeping the conditioned air in the conditioned space and not letting it move through where it might condense on the back side of that sheathing. We have enough exterior insulation to thermally break our wood members, but we might not have enough exterior insulation to warm that sheathing year round. So this interior air barrier is preventing that warm conditioned air from meeting that cold surface where it could condense. That is directly behind our drywall. So we're sometimes including a service cavity. This is strapping between your drywall finish and that interior air barrier. It's creating a chase for your electrical components and your outlets or your can lights, but you can do without this. You would then just need the air seal around all of those outlets and other components that are penetrating that air barrier. But here's our typical wall to roof transition where it's been monopoly framed, where that sheathing is in line with the wall and roof. We are covering that sheathing with the Solitex Adhero 1000 or 3000 for the walls, and then Adhero 3000 for that pitched roof. Or you can use the mechanically fastened version, the Mento 1000 
for the walls and then the Mento 3000 for the roof. We're using a vapor permeable fibrous insulation for our cavity insulation as well as our exterior boards. And then we have the Intello membrane, whether that's the Intello Plus or the Intello X membrane on the interior side as airtight and vapor variable. Thanks for watching. As always, 475 is available to support your next high performance project. For more info, there's links on the screen to other videos as well as to our Smart Enclosure Assembly Guides.